This is you mixing what might be the greatest mix of all time. This is you again, listening to what might be the worst mix of all time. Why is this happening? It's your room. Your room is evil. Let's change that. Let's change a room that reacts like this into this. Welcome back to Cutting In Manor. So as I was about to blast off into doing some mixing videos for you guys, I realized there's no point in doing that if we are all hearing completely different things in our mix room. So the first thing we need to do is fix the universal issue of getting a flat frequency response in our mixing environment. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do that using the renowned EQ plugin by FabFilter called ProQ2. Now other than being uh, one of the top EQs out there, it just happens to be really great for forcing a flat frequency response in your mix space. This method relies heavily on a basic acoustic treatment in your room to be the most effective. Now, if you don't have a basic treatment in your room or you have no idea what I just said, here's a quick sum up. When you play music in your room, the frequencies bounce back and forth off of all your walls. The size and shape of the room amplify some of these frequencies while canceling others. The most basic way to deal with this is to place your speakers in a configuration like this and add acoustic panels in a configuration like this to dampen the reflections in the room and allow you to hear the original frequencies of the music as it was mixed. For more in-depth info on applying these ideas, I've added some links to great videos below. With that out of the way, let's take control of your room. So here's what you need to make this happen. A reference mic, you can get one for around $60. There's a link in the description. An EQ, I'm using FabFilter Pro Q, but you could stack a whole bunch of other EQs and just monitor it. And third, download the pink noise file I've included. I'll be showing you how to get this done in Logic Pro 10, but you can use any DAW. Let's begin. Turn on the left speaker. Play the pink noise file included in a link below. I'm recording the left speaker first into a track and then the right speaker into a separate track and sending both of those tracks to the stereo bus. Then I'm adding a dual mono instance of Fab Filters Pro Q2. And now I can make adjustments to only the left channel and force that into a flat frequency response with these settings. I like to use these settings because I feel like it's a bit more natural. Notice here I use the command key to adjust the Q of the band. As you can see here, I'm just trying to flatten out this entire frequency, whatever it takes. Everyone's room's gonna be a little bit different, so this is a, just a general look at this. Repeat these same steps with the right speaker. Lower the output level to compensate all the drastic uh, decibel adjustments you've made. And then save this as a master output preset. Here's why I love this method. For spaces with real problem, doing this allows you to actually hear things that are completely missing from your room. Spaces that are already pretty good, it brings a new level of polish to your sound. The whole point of this is that you can now hear the actual entire frequency spectrum, not just parts of it. I've been doing this myself and I'm really happy with the results. This method coupled with using some familiar headphones will help you catch some additional frequencies that might be bouncing around in your room. Getting your room right is always the first option, but for someone like me who already has some pretty good acoustic treatment in here, this is kind of a last resort fix and it works really, really well. After doing this, you too will have an improved look at the entire frequency spectrum and now you can mix with confidence. And now above all, we should all be hearing the same things.
One last note, don't forget to turn off this plugin for your final mixes when you bounce them out. I hope you found this helpful. It really helped me hear things and avoid making some big mixing mistakes. Now go make some music. Cunningham Manor out. Oh.